In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the best money plays in Madden 22. What's good, YouTube? My name is Cody. We're going to be talking today about why off trips pats. This formation can be found in the New England Patriots playbook. Most Madden players refer to this as U trips because it's what it used to be called. And today we're going to be talking about the play pats slot out in the U trips formation. Now, if you want to get my entire U trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description of this video for just ten dollars you'll be able to get access to all of my man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of my updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release our utrips ebook is included in that and it's one of the best offenses this year so if you want to learn how to run it make sure that you join the patreon the link to sign up is in the description and like i said it's only 10 bucks to sign up all right, so Pat slot out. The setup we're going to be running today is we're going to block our running back. We're going to streak our tight end, and then we're going to uh, slant or in route our slot receiver. That's up to you. I, I normally am going to in route. Uh, you can drag him, slant him, or in route him. You just want him coming over the middle of the field. That's the main thing. Um, and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to motion this outside trips receiver across the formation. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us a really sharp cutting uh, corner route that is really effective this year against man-to-man. -man. Um, this play is also going to be good against zone, uh, but it is very effective specifically um, against man-to-man. -man. And I'll show you something else you can do with that slot receiver here in just a second. Uh, but you'll see here again, he's going to run that real sharp cutting out route, and we're going to throw that just like that. Now, this route to R1, if you wanted to leave him on this little um, rounded out route, if you know that it's man-to-man, -man, um, this route is a kind of like a, a speed-cutting out route. Let me put Chris Godwin there and show you what happens. Chris Godwin is kind of indicative of what it would be like um, if you had a, a receiver there that had the short-in elite ability. Uh, so let me show you that real quick. And I'm going to put Scotty Miller over here. Um, and we're going to put Julio Jones on the bench. Um, interesting. But anyway, uh, what you'll see here is, again, just we're just going to leave this out route. I just wanted to show this to you in case you didn't know this. This out route, um, a lot of times, well, I guess he is going to get pressed into the ground. Let me uh, shade up. Most of the time, people aren't going to run this press. I'll show you what happens on the left side here in just a second if they do. Um, but if they don't press him, and a lot of times with short and elite, he will light up. And you'll get that little speed out cut, that right there. So if you know it's man, it's not necessarily a bad idea to do to uh, run that route right there. Okay, uh, that's the main thing I wanted to show you about that. Uh, but generally speaking, I'm going to do something like this. Okay, now this route to Scotty Miller, you see how there, we create a natural rub for him? Um, if you lob this over the top, you want to free form and you want to lob it over the top. Sometimes if they're jamming you, um, you can actually get a touchdown. Again, they're going to create that little rub. And then we're just going to lob it up and let Scotty Miller's speed do the work for us. And a lot of times you can actually have a chance to get this over the top. Especially in Madden 23 where um, there's a lot of reward for throwing one-on-one -on -one streaks and there's very little cost. So, you know, something like that. You see there you got... Got that really nice release off the ball. We're just trying to free form him open, essentially, and allow his speed to take over. That's the main thing here. Uh, and again, it's better against two-man under because two-man under has a natural shade underneath. So if they don't have any safety help. Uh, but right there, there's a great example. You see his speed just kind of taking over uh, on this play. Now, that route is also the primary route we want to look at um, against zone coverage. This year's zone coverage is really weak um, in the seams, in my opinion. And so what you'll see here is we can free form this guy open, whether it be inside or outside, depending on the coverage. In that example, that was cover, uh, cover three, and you saw how good that was. Now, uh, for cover two... I'll show you here real quick. Uh, typically, you can freeform uh, Scotty Miller open against cover two as well. So you'll see here, see how he kind of turns into that seam streak, and it allows me to freeform this to the outside uh, to get him open. So it kind of funnels them into a cover four coverage 
on that solo side of the field if they are going to run something like that. Most people, whenever they run cover four, they're going to shade underneath, and that's going to leave this little slant out or little sharp cutting out corner, uh, whatever you want to call it, wide open against cover four. And I'll run a regular cover four as well just so you can see what a regular zone drop uh, would look like. You'll see again, if you snap him about right here, a lot of times he's going to, when he cuts, he's going to get open in behind that coverage uh, for us. So we have a really nice uh, little zone beater uh, that can really kind of break down every zone in the game on that left side. Uh, and again, it just continues to stress, if you can beat man coverage in Madden 23, you can definitely beat zone coverage. But you see how open that gets uh, against that cover one man to man. So we're able to beat man coverage. We're able to beat uh, cover four, cover three, cover two. Uh, now the next thing I want to show you is what if their opponent says, you know what, I'm going to use her and I'm going to take away that seam streak to the slot receiver. Then what do we do, right? Um, it's always good to have an if-then plan. Um, please don't sleep on this seam route to the tight end. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, um, it can be one of the best routes in the game. So... You want to at least look at that, especially in man-to-man. -man. If they're going to play man on you and you have a really strong, like a, a really good tight end, whether it be Donald Parham, um, Dave Casper, any of those guys, they're going to be one-on-one. -on -one. And so as soon as that cornerback turns his hips like that, you see how we can get these really good aggressive catch animations. Um, so that's the main read if it's man-to-man -man and they decide to take away you know, some of the stuff that we're able to do. Obviously, this play, um, the other the other route that you have uh, is this little in route on the back side. And if they're going to kind of like start taking yellow zones off the field, they really need at least two, maybe three yellow zones to be able to properly defend that across the field. Um, and so that's why it's our, our best check down read uh, that we have in this. Now, let's say that they want to take away your corner route. I'll show you what happens there. You can, honestly, if you wanted to, you actually can leave the tight end on this route right here um, because of how sharp this corner route is. Uh, but you see there that, again, my in route is really the primary read uh, that we're going to be able to make. This play breaks down coverages so well. Um, and, again, cover four for just a second. I want to show you one other thing with this so this cover four coverage again this uh seam streak to scotty miller you can kind of get a one-on-one -on, -one on this and so if you have a big body player that might be an option for you as well but really what we're looking to do especially against cover three um and especially against cover two is we're really looking to take advantage of this of the seam that's the main thing that we have going for us here uh is that we can free form this wide open against cover three cover two and then it funnels them into having to play either man coverage or having to play um or having to play some kind of hybrid coverage. And if they're going to play hybrid coverage, it's actually going to play out very similar uh, to man coverage. And then if you if you really, uh, and if they're not careful, they'll leave your tight end open, and your tight end is going to be one-on-one -on -one against, you know, obviously someone on their team that um, typically the safeties are who's going to guard our tight end. Uh, they're not going to have a chance in a one-on-one -on -one scenario. So you have that nice corner route. That's the main route on the play. Uh, and then, of course, you can kind of build around that with everything else. But you, you don't have to streak the tight end. If you want to leave him vertical, you certainly can. Um, there are certain situations where you might want to streak him, and there are certain situations where you might not want to streak him. Uh, kind of want to leave that up to you guys. Uh, but the beauty of this play is that we have a natural uh, flood especially if you drag or in route this backside guy and then you have you know really nice opportunity to potentially hit that fade that glitchy fade as well so you know this play breaks down a lot of coverages that you're going to face and it kind of funnels them into having to do certain things uh, to stop you 
uh, one of which is they're going to have to use her the seam, which should leave that drag route wide open. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you're new to the channel or if you haven't joined the Patreon yet and you want to learn more about the U-Trips offense, make sure you join my Patreon. For just $10, you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks, as well as any updates to those eBooks or any new eBooks as well. So if you want to sign up for that, $10 gets you access to everything. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down in the description.